Welcome to the Amtec Fast Test help videos. In this video, we will look at board makeup. We see here a board that's been generated on a certificate, in this instance, an electrical installation certificate. At the top, we can see that the first board is always the main board. This indicates that the area here doesn't need to be completed as it's already been completed on another page. We can designate if the board is three phase or one of four options for single phase, L1, L2, L3, or the generic single. We'll leave it on TP for now. We can also indicate how many ways the board has. By default, it's usually eight, but we can change that to any value you wish, in this case, 10. Once selected, if you move out of that option, you'll then see that the board extends its ways to 10 ways. Next, we'll see distribution board designation. The default values are as boards are added and copied, etc., is DB1, DB2, DB3. We'll change this one to main board. Once the name has been entered, if we click out, we'll see that the tab indicates what the name of the board is. If you wish to rename the board, you can either enter it into distribution board designation or double click the tab for the board at the top. This will then allow you to enter the new board details. If we intend to add a board as a sub main from this board, it's a very simple process. Using the submain wizards, we can go to the circuit designation, click in the spare way, select the drop down option, and select submains. On selection, the submain wizard appears and allows us to create a new board or connect to an existing board. As we have no existing boards, we'll use the create new board. It'll ask for the number of ways and the distribution board designation. Let's change this to make it easier to navigate through this help video. Let's call it train one. On selecting OK, the new board is generated and a window asks you if you want to move to the board or stay where you are. We'll stay where we are by selecting No. We can now see that Submains has self-populated the brackets with the name of the board it's connected to, in this case Train 1. I intended to leave a space between the words Train and 1. To make this alteration, I can't type in this area. I need to actually go to the board that I've generated and make the alteration there by simply selecting the board, altering the value in distribution board designation. If I then return to main board, I can see the alteration has happened here. If I want to add a board to this installation, I simply select the add board option in the upper section. A single left click will add me a board. We can now see that DB3 has been entered. I want to rename this, and I'm going to call it train two. Train 2 is also connected to the main board, but this time we're going to use the reverse submain wizard. To do this, we select supply to distribution board is from on the board we wish connected, and then create new submain connection. In this submain wizard, we now have the option to create a new board or select an existing. As as already exists, we're going to use this option. We can now choose which board we intend it to be supplied from. By using distribution board designation drop down, we can see all the boards available that have spare three phase ways that can be used to connect this board. We're going to use the main board and then select the circuit number and phase we intend to connect it to. If we use the drop down, we'll see all of the available options. I intend to connect it to two, so I'll select two from the drop down. On selecting OK, a message pops up and tells us the board has been successfully connected and do we want to stay where we are or move to the board we've connected to. This time we'll move to the board we're connected to by selecting yes. We can now see that these two submains have been connected to the main board. We're now going to use the option insert board. Select insert board at the top with a single left click. This will now put a board in to the right of the board you were on when insert board was selected. This board is actually train three. I want to rename it, so I double click on the tab and type train three. Select OK, and this confirms the renaming. Now, train three is in the wrong position. To allow us to move these boards around, we need to single left click and hold the tab at the top. Once we do this, we then move the board to the new location and release the left mouse button. This then moves the board to our new location. Train 3 is a looped board. This means that it shares its protection with another board on the system. If I were to select supply to distribution board is from now, 
I'd only see the option to create a new subpane wizard. If I select Looped Supply and then drop it down, it will allow me to connect to either of these boards to show that it is looped alongside that one. Let's loop it with Submain's main board 2TP. That connection has now been made, and if I return to the main board, I can see that I now have a Submain's to train 2 and to train 3. If you're unable to see all of the data in circuit designation, simply select it and look in this section up here. This allows you to see much more detail relevant to the circuit designation. We're now going to see how to copy a board. For the purposes of this, I'm going to have a populated board. Selecting the copy option in the top right hand corner allows us to copy all of the circuit details from the existing board. You can now see that train 1 has copied all its details to DB5. Let's call this train 4. If for any reason you need to hide a board, that is to say you don't see it when the certificate is printed, selecting hide board allows you to remove it from the certificate view. This can be brought back by simply selecting show all boards. D data is automatically completed in this section here by the submain. In this case, this board is connected to Submain's main board 2TP. If I return to main board and go to 2TP, if I complete the overcurrent protective device values and its rating, and then return to train 3, we can see that the values have been transposed into this location. Should you have any form of RCD protection for that Submain's, it can be entered here by selecting it from the drop down and then the relevant values entered. And that's the basics of entering boards and modelling their values. Thank you for watching.